sleep paralysis demon woke me up last night, but like, I'm not scared of demons. In fact, I'm so bored and lonely that I've tried everything to get them to haunt me so I can have a friend. Like last week, I performed a ritual on my kitchen floor and tried to summon the ghost of Ja, but all he did was say, hey, and then knocked a book on my head. Not even evil spirits want me. Then I thought maybe if I make them angry, they'll visit me. So I used a Ouija board to call the spirits in my house ugly and fat. Then I poured up some shots of holy water. But that's when my video doorbell showed something terrifying. My front door swung open and I felt a cold breeze and it gave me goosebumps. Well, ah, I meant the other kind of goosebumps. I was on the ground, but when I looked up, I saw I had summoned the ghost of Chef Gusteau from Ratatouille. My kitchen lit up with cooking and light as he told me anyone can cook. There was a pot of something yummy boiling. I said, Chef Gusteau, what are we cooking? And he said, when was the last time you saw your dog? <laughs> oh, it was just a dream. This right here is my birth certificate. Yup, I left my birth certificate in my pocket and it went through the washing machine. I found it while doing laundry and it was shriveled up like a little pecan. So the first thing I did besides completely panic was I tried put it in the oven to get the water out. But then my whole house filled with smoke and now it's a burnt little turd nugget. Now everyone loses things, things happen. I've washed my passport before, I've lost my wallet. I've microwaved my own credit card to see if it would turn into a potato chip, it did. My grandpa lost me in a parking lot when I was 10 and a strange man tried to abduct me and sell me for two goats on the black market in Zimbabwe, it's whatever. But what do you do when you literally destroy your birth certificate? Am I supposed to crawl right back into the womb and pop out and be like, wah, wah. Give me a birth certificate now. If you Google how to get another birth certificate, it just says you were the world's biggest idiot. So I've decided I have to make a new identity. I try to think of it less as illegally photoshopping a birth certificate and more like creating a new sim. I printed it off and I'm excited to share that I am now Aria Nagrande. I think it looks super professional and no one will think that it's fake. Today, I'm giving $100 and a love letter to random Taco Bell employees. But wait, why? Yesterday, as I was eating my yummalicious burrito, I thought, these employees deserve recognition for creating the beautiful creation that is this burrito. So I drove home, pulled out some markers, and decided to write a letter of appreciation to them. I basically told them I love them and I would die for them in an instant. And then I signed my name and put some hearts and tacos on it because I love tacos. I folded the letter and got in the car and headed over to the bank. I took out $100 as a little extra thank you for the card, and then I got nervous. But then I finally pulled up to Taco Bell. Hi, can you get for you? Hi there, could I just get one bean burrito, please? Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Okay, you Hi. Uh, so I just wanted to give y'all a tip, because I know it's like... I just want to give y'all a tip, because I know it's like really crazy, like having to deal with corona and everything. Oh ah, we're out of time on TikTok, but the link to their reaction is in my bio. So I keep seeing people get canceled and I thought it's only a matter of time before I get canceled because I've said the N in autumn or the word column or the word damn is so useless. Like what's the point of silent letters? You know what should be silent? People who are racist, transphobic, and homophobic. Ben, are you filming a serious video? Yeah, so shh. Okay, um. When you have a platform, you have a responsibility to not spread or normalize things that can potentially hurt people. It's not like people are more sensitive these days. People are just no longer tolerating words or actions that have always hurt them. If I could motivate you guys to do one thing, it would be to educate yourself on issues that you may never face in your life, but other people unfortunately have to live with every single day, depending on who they are, who they love, who they pray to, or a number of other factors. Now, I do believe that when people make a mistake, tearing them apart and bullying them is such a wasted opportunity when you can show them and especially others how they can be a better person and learn from their mistakes at the end of the day please just be kind to every person that you meet have a good day i was sitting on the floor eating a rice crispy snack when my dad randomly came home with a dog we don't have a dog we have a cat so what is that and i said did you just buy a dog and my dad told me he just bought a dog so um i guess i have a dog in my dad's house now and i went to go pet it but it keeps running away from me and looking at me like i'm a demon which i am <laughs> But it still made me sad, and I was sitting around trying to figure out how to become friends with this baby dog. And then I realized I could probably give it something, like a tree. So I got off my butt, and I went upstairs, and I looked in the pantry and found some dog bones. I opened up the package and grabbed a bone, and then I slowly approached him and placed it on the mat. But then my dad's cat, Luna, got in the way. Oh. Anyways, I gave it another bone, and... Ah! It bit my hand so hard, like, three fingers fell off. I had to call an ambulance. Just kidding. Uh, he let me come near, and when I touched him, he twitched, and it scared me a little bit. But then he let me pet him. And now we're almost besties, and I took him on a little walk and took some cute pictures with him so if you want to see more of sammy i posted the pics on my instagram at ben of the week okay bye this is how i finessed my way backstage at a music festival in la the day started with me getting invited to blue faces pool party to film a tiktok with him because he didn't know what tiktok was and i didn't really know what to do so i just busted down for 15 seconds while this man watched from the background
Send me in blue face, baby. Took a picture, and that's when they were like, do you want to come backstage to the BET Awards Festival tonight? And I was like, yeah. So we went to the venue, and security was like, you have to be 21. And I was like, well, I'm not. But then they let me in anyways, and I got to go through the back area where all the artists enter, and they brought us to the backstage part. But fun fact, you actually can't see that much from backstage. But what I did see back there was g Easy standing right in front of me the whole time. I didn't even notice until like 30 minutes in. And he was just there vibing, listening to the music. Anyways, then they let me go into the main area to watch the rest of the show from like a better view. And the vibes were so good. It was so freaking fun. I got to see so many people perform. And then I went home. But uh, thank you for watching my vlog. Love you. Bye. I was enjoying some fresh strawberries when my doorbell rang. I wasn't expecting anyone, but I went and answered the door anyways. No one was there, but whoever rang the doorbell had left an egg. It was covered in blue speckles and it was warm. But I decided right then and there, I'm going to care for this egg until it hatches and be a bird dad. I made a little house for it by grabbing a box and putting grass in it. Then I set up a heat lamp so the egg root would be nice and toasty. But I was getting bored of waiting for him to hatch, so I decided to take him on a walk. Well, it was more of a roll. I taught Eggbert how to skate and showed him to my dog, but then she tried to eat him. And I was like, after a week, my son started to get an attitude. He would just roll away from me when I was talking to him and then go play Fortnite all day. But then one day we started arguing because the place was a chicken coop. And I got so mad, I stormed off. I started to feel bad, so I went to go say sorry, but he was gone. I ran outside, and I looked everywhere for him. I checked the patio, I went and looked in the garden. I was starting to freak out when... <laughs> Egbert? <laughs> This morning when I woke up, I reached over to my light to turn it on, and it didn't. At first I thought the bulb died because it's $4 from Ikea, but then I looked at my iPad and it didn't charge overnight, and I realized I don't have any power. So I grabbed four blankets and wrapped myself up to conserve heat, even though I accidentally left two candles burning overnight. Oops. Uh. I was still cold. So I decided to go upstairs and make myself a hot beverage to stay warm. And I can make coffee, but that's literally bean water. Uh. Or I can make matcha, which is just Shrek's ashes. So I ended up grabbing the matcha because I hate coffee. And I went to grab a cup, but they were all freaking dirty and gross. So I I boiled some water in my kettle, which apparently <laughs> Americans don't have. Like, let me know if you have a tea kettle or if that's just a British thing, love. Anyways. Anyways, I poured some matcha and then the water after it. And then I went to grab the cup and I burned my hand on the glass, which was really fun. And I didn't have any cream because the fridge was warm from the electricity being out. So I took my blankets off and I gave it a test. And mama, let me tell you, it tasted like if dirt had a butthole. I ended up spitting it out. And then I poured the rest out on the concrete. But the water had rehydrated Shrek's ashes and he came back to life and <laughs> I was really bored, so I tried to buy the most expensive thing on Gucci's website for funsies, but that's when I remembered, Ben, you can't afford Taco Bell. So I was typing random numbers, hoping one was an actual credit card number, and nothing was working. I was like, well, there goes my well alpaca cardigan. Finally, I tried 69, 69, 69, 69. Expiration date, April 20th, aka 420, <laughs> and security code 666, and I hit enter. I was like, oh, well, that was fun. So I closed my laptop, but then I got an email. Hey, my order had shipped. And then suddenly I heard a knock at the door, and I was like, oh, I didn't know what I just did, so I checked my doorbell cam and there was a stranger there then i heard the door open and then there were footsteps coming towards me and then falling uh and then the intruder got up and said this is the fbi we've got you and i was like you've got me you think you've been watching me for the past month i've had my fbi agent's laptop bugged every time he logs in to watch me i've been watching him in fact i ordered this exact item knowing it would bring him here he ran back to his hq to open up his laptop and in disbelief there i was fully in control of the fbi system checkmate <laughs> Booga 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 stab the fish stab the fish <gasps> Bruh get over here What there is something in the water that looks exactly like me <laughs> What do you mean what we're cavemen let me check <gasps> There's one of me in there too What in the <laughs> bro what are we gonna do? I know uh take a picture of it with your cell phone Oh god that is such a good idea let's do it okay Alright uh here goes nothing <gasps> No 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 bro he's got the same phone as me and everything this is so messed up Wait, bro, do you think it's got meat on it? <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. Go grab the fire stick. Oh, All right, thanks, bro. Okay, uh... <laughs> bro, be careful. We don't know what that thing is. <gasps> bro, it just put out the fire stick. It's so powerful. We gotta go. Ugo, waka, waka. I was sticking sticky pickles to walls in case a fickle old man walking by saw a nickel tripped on a loaf of pumpernickel reaching for the nickel and got himself in a pickle. But as he wiggled on the ground, he saw a fickle trickle of pickle juice run down the wall and could wiggle towards the pickle and have himself a little nibble, giving him the energy to run as fast as a missile. But along the way, he jiggled because, uh, the man in this riddle ate too many Skittles. I should stick to just eating a little pickle as a snack so that his health isn't crippled, ending him up in the hospital. Anyways, the man went home after being saved by the pickle and wiggled into his simple yet fiscal home. And so 
sat on his brittle chair to relax and whistle and play the fiddle and enjoy a giggle while eating his peanut brittle. And maybe even a Skittle. I bought some tortilla chips from the store, but while I was eating them, I realized that the T-I-T in the Tostitos logo is two people sharing some chips and salsa. I thought, how cute is that? As I sat there with no friends to share my chips and salsa with. And no T-I-T either, because I am a boy. But that's when I realized, duh, I could just throw myself a chip and salsa party. People can come over and we can make salsa, but not using tomatoes because they are disgusting. Instead, we'll make, uh, what's a good thing to turn into a salsa? Dirty sock. <gasps> That's it! Dirty Sock Salsa! Because anything tastes better than tomatoes! Anyways, I still need people to come to my salsa party, because right now, there's no TIT! So I did what any sane person would do. I posted my address on the internet! Instantly, my doorbell was ringing non-stop. And that's when I realized I posted my address on comerobme.com! After looking at my video doorbell, I didn't want to give the creeps outside any of my belongings. And especially not my Animal Crossing amiibo. So, I gave them the one thing I did not need. Salsa with tomatoes! Anyways, I may be having my salsa party alone now. But I still got my dirty sock salsa. I haven't been posting on TikTok because I got a stalker that's been DMing me saying he's going to come to my house and that he knows my address. And I didn't know what to do, so I packed my bags and I ran away to Florida to try and hide. When I finally got there, I went to the pool to relax when I saw someone staring at me from a distance covered in, like, smoke or something. I was kind of scared, but I followed them out of the pool and I barely got out because I have no upper body strength. Ugh. Anyways, I followed his footsteps to the beach and they led me to this fenced-off area, but I went in anyways and I followed the trail of smoke coming from him, which brought me to this weird abandoned building which had a really strong smell of like skunk or something coming from it. I was still curious, so I stuck inside and it was completely dark. So I turned on my flash and there was Jacob Sartorius! I screamed out, what do you want from me? And that's when he asked if I wanted to do some lettuce with him. And you know what I said? Yes! And we made a delicious salad together. Just me and Jacob Sartorius, two dudes tossing salad in the kitchen.